Let's go to Midgard. We have the flower, the grave, and... Ah, we can go back to Charlie! Charlie! You're home, Freya. We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not gonna be very happy with me. No. But he looks alive. Thanks to Atreus. Charlie. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Maybe we can start with... warming Charlie up? Oh. What the... Is that normal? I know, but I can't stay. There's still things I must do. Yeah, we've got to go collect flowers all over Midgard and stuff. Kratos, I should look for someone who can watch over him. Permanently. Do you think Angraboda would help? Oh my gosh, it looks even worse than the last time we were here as Atreus. It's all frozen inside. I can't imagine that feels good. That's Charlie. Poor thing. Freya, look. Here we are. Murkweed. We got your flowers. Is that it? I spent all that time getting the flowers. Not even an extra line of dialogue. Really? Well, we can't even do anything for Charlie. Goodbye, Charlie. What? Oh, I feel bad. Freya, I'm soon. Freya, maybe you should stay. I kind of. Oh. Sorry, Charlie. We'll. We'll make sure you're well fed or something at least. This just seems a little bit too cruel. Now, King's Grave is back here. Let's go. I don't even remember this place that well anymore. Okay, now I remember. Yes. Hmm. King Hall's gravestone. Oh my god. It's reformed. Guess there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> they even gave me extra health here. That's not cool. Okay. This is gonna be ultra hard. No. So help out. Did I get hurt from that? I didn't see. Because I didn't make it in time, actually. It's like a combination of the previous guys' moves. Oh, damn. You're on fire, Kratos. It will fire. Oh, don't let this don't let the stun pass. 
Ow. No, 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 no. Wrong one. Oh, he walked inside of it. Oh, dude, my entire thing is Bifrost. That wasn't good. Oh no, guard broken. Oh, whoa! Shield again. Oh my god. Oh! This is a fine mess. Harder, but not undoable. We got the half already. Do we not have a stone? I didn't buy a life stone. Let's go buy one. Are you okay? 
No. Started making mistakes at the end. Bum 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 bum! Oh! Oh! My kingdom. There you go. Still not sure if that was justice or vengeance. The two are not always at odds. What do you intend to do with Skofnung now? I intend to use it. No! Don't you understand the legacy that thing carries? Not to mention the souls of evil berserkers. I will use it for good. That won't erase its history. No. But the story of this sword is still being written. Future generations will weigh its good deeds against the bad and decide for themselves. You've come a long way from when I first met you, brother. I have had good counsel since then, brother. I love how they call each other brother like that. Ooh! That wasn't too bad. Honestly, that took less time than the three berserkers. I think the three berserkers were really painful when I was in the middle of it, but after coming out on top of it, I just feel so much better about everything in the combat system that this time, I think it was more about, because the moves, the moves were like a combination of everything that we've seen previously. Nothing new that I can think of, but maybe a little bit faster and everything in combination. So it was all about, okay, if you see this move, then you gotta be sure to make this move as a response to it. One that kept tripping me up for a while was the Bifrost. For the first few attempts, I didn't even know you could actually cancel the Bifrost by just throwing an axe or a spear at him. So that was a thing that I got stuck on for a bit. But um, yeah, this one was about not making mistakes. The Wrath Spartan Rage worked kind of well as a crutch thingy. Yeah, we never got the healing effects of it, but whenever I realized that, oh, like my guard's broken or I'm gonna make a mistake and I'm gonna get hit, I could pop it and avoid getting hit. So that was nice. King Rolf Kraki, former owner of the Cursed Blade, Skofnung, an unworthy man who declared himself king, Mimir spoke bitterly of how he and his berserkers laid waste to the kingdom of L leisure. L Lair. <laughs> it is unlike Mimir to seek vengeance, but his cause is just. I have taken Rolf's sword, once a symbol of betrayal, and used it to rid these realms of him and his followers. I hope this brings Mimir some peace. I hope so too. The one little sad thing is that we get these nice weapons and whatever for defeating the boss, but we already defeated the boss. There's nothing else to use it on, right? So it's kind of sad. The sword unleashes its power from the souls within. What does that mean? Maybe I should try this out. Can we try it out? Oh no, I just lost it. Which one was it again? Huh. We could walk around with it. There were a few weapon pieces I said I would try that I never got to. Yeah, even the raven set. I never walked around fully with that, right? But I'm curious about the... Yeah, the crystal set. Could we try walking around with that? Even for a little bit? It'll make me suck, but we're all about looks here. <laughs> eh, this one, I kind of don't like it. 
I don't like how it looks that much, but eh, you know, walk around with it a little bit, sure. Hmm, it looks kind of. I don't really like it actually. Yeah. Okay, well, I think this is pretty close to the last of what I'm interested in. Let me just see if there's a little bit more. Come on. Ugh. How are you in there so deep? <laughs> That's what Am she. I hearing voices again. Someone's out here. We are at the derelict outpost, Mystic Gate. I don't even remember what was here before. A derelict outpost, apparently. Uh. My guy? You are Atreus's friend. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Hi! Hey! You're Loki's dad, right? I saw you at the whole Ragnarok thing. I'm Skielder. The lodge who's been organizing the displaced Midgardians. What are you doing? Oh, uh, Loki told me this story about Odin inviting him to Asgard and giving him an Aesir coin that you threw away, and well, I thought I'd come here and see if I could find it. And I did, if you can believe it. Wow. But, uh, it's kind of stuck, because you're like crazy strong, apparently. I I'm sorry, did, did you want to keep it? No, it is yours. You sure? It's probably really valuable. I mean, that's not why I'm after it, but... If I were going to sell a genuine Asgardian artifact touched by at least three gods, I'd expect that fetch, uh, well, <laughs> a whole lot. Probably enough to buy my own boat, set out, and make my fortune. The coin is yours. Good luck to you. Thanks. You too. And, uh, if you see Throod, uh, uh never mind. <laughs> you wished word of Thor's daughter. Throod? Y you saw Throod? How is she? She is well. She has recovered her father's hammer. Oh, that's amazing. Don't you worry. She's going to do good with that thing. She's an amazing person. Probably my favorite. <laughs> I mean, not like that. She doesn't have time for boys, but I, you know, I don't, I don't care. She's just, she's just great. Is it getting warmer? I, I feel like it's getting warmer. <laughs> How about that thaw? <laughs> yeah, Fimble Winter should be wearing off soon. Uh, good luck with that coin of yours. Yeah, I briefly looked up this guy like in mythology, and I think he's supposed to be some kind of a mortal, like a, a king, but a mortal king. So, clearly very entrepreneurial, <laughs> trying to make a fortune out of this and that. It was nice seeing you. Good luck with that, I guess. I think one more place that we can visit would be, let's see, our own home. We actually haven't been back in quite a while. Our own home would be Sang- no. It would be... This one? Upper Wildwoods. Hey Freya! Remember my home? Where you try to kill me? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh. What is it? Mementos. From Atreus's journey. What will you do with it? Add it to our own. His story is ours, and ours is his. Too right, brother. Oh, do you mean like the codex entries that we picked up before? Kind of? Uh, actually, I can't really tell. Can we tell his impressions of things again? The scrolls? Yeah. I guess it's just stuff that we... Yeah, it didn't seem like we got anything new. Hmm. Oh. Faye. It has been too long since Faye left us. Yada yada yada. Atreus is focused on who he will become. And while it becomes difficult to keep him close, I am grateful I can continue this journey with him for now. Hmm. That's right. Yup. We don't even know how long Atreus is going for, where he's going. 
get the sense that maybe Atreus himself doesn't know either. But it's not goodbye. It's not. It feels very lonely, though. I love Freya. I love that we're spending some time together, but... Man, my son. Oh, having to watch him just... Go. Alongside that Rotted Tosker runic summon is a little bit painful. <laughs> Speaking of the summon, yeah, we did that King Rolf fight without... I think I probably played better there than anywhere else in the game. Because I didn't have the Rata Tosker to bail me out and... Yeah, generally... Feels like just hanging back and waiting for the guy to do something and then responding to him was easier than trying to go up to him and hit him back. Hit him before he hits me. Now, is that it? L go back to the house? Do you think Tyr would actually move there? How are you doing? Back again! Oh, what, you don't have more important crap to do than bother me? Just trying to check up on you. I have retrieved your children. And finally, my little family is complete. Ah, <sighs> what else is there? Something I've been meaning to ask. Once you've projected an emotional trait into spectral form, is it just gone from you? Suppose a friend wished to cast off his melancholy. What a predilection towards pining. <laughs> I see. But I'm afraid it's not so simple. My spectral projections give me a measure of emotional breathing room, but it is only temporary. If I fail to reassimilate them, they start to fester. Fester? They are concentrated beings of emotion. And if left alone for too long, that emotion feeds on itself and becomes more and more uh, pronounced which is why I must periodically reabsorb them, deal with their emotional baggage internally, and then eject them fully recharged. Huh. Absorbing all that emotion at once must be pretty bitter medicine to swallow. Oh, yes, it's quite unpleasant. Terrible, in fact. Do not recommend. <laughs> well, best of luck to your friend, good Master Mimir. Oh, wow, we never learned about that. Please come back any time. Do, do you not understand when a conversation is over. You just look so beautiful, I want to stare at you some more. That's all. I never got to try out the... Let's see. Oh. And what does that do? Does it hurt people? Cool. That's what we got for defeating the Berserkers. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure there was a Berserker armor too. Did we just get a piece from defeating the king? We may have. We got this piece a, a while ago already, I think? Armor crafted in the spirit of the berserker souls who fought for their king in both life and death. Yeah, like that. We had pieces already. Oh, when you get it to level 9, you can change the appearance. That's crazy. <laughs> hmm. The glowing green of the berserker souls. Hey, Lunda. How you doing? This will be of use. <gasps> I left 25... What? Oh, it's because earlier I probably reloaded a save and then I forgot to pick up the um, stuff? That was 250k money. Oh my god. No, I don't think we'll be seeing Tyr here. We told him about the place, but... Without the owner of the home being here, a little bit awkward for us to be inviting people here, too, isn't it? <sighs> Freya. Might be time for us to get going. Mumia, did I do enough to prepare Atreus? The lad survived bloody Ragnarok. I should think he's as prepared as anyone could be. To survive, yes. But to love. Brother? Angraboda. Does he? <laughs> oh. Well, there were certain topics on which I suppose I may have been a touch more approachable. I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to woo. To be perfectly honest, brother, 
I taught him how I wish I'd wooed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Very curious about his boy's love life, but not much we can do about it. How the hell did Kratos woo anybody? I kind of want to see that. How did he and Faye even get together? Hey, so are all the plants here now? I can't really tell. I guess those are the flowers we picked up. Cool. I think the journals that we picked up are like in my room. Oh, it's right outside my room. Sweet, my own little collection. Cool. Alright. Last time I came back to Vanaheim, I didn't realize that Birger was sitting right here. Kratos. Where were you this whole time? Birger. How do you feel? Sorry I missed all the action. I would like to have seen Asgard fall. Ah, you are in no condition. Besides, you've done more than enough for the cause. You have earned your rest. Yes. I think it may be time for this old warrior to finally lay down his sword and find a quiet place to retire. And leave behind all your friends. I will miss their companionship, yes. But there will soon be much rebuilding here. Not exactly the quiet I'm looking for. Actually... I know somebody who's living alone in a quiet place, who could use your help and companionship. We should talk. I would like that. Please do talk. Assassins sought you. They are dead now. Greetings to you as well, Kratos. <laughs> to elaborate, it appears your former brothers, the Travelers, have branded you a heretic. They wish to find you, but they, well, Find Kratos first. Thank you. And apologies. My decision should not have brought such violence down on you. Once I learned the Traveler's path was merely another of Odin's lies, I had hoped my brothers would join me in stepping off it. Apparently, they did not. Still, you're safe now. Or safer, anyway. I am. Good. And again. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, Freya, did you... Are you actually gonna talk about this with Birger? Or should we just go see it ourselves? Let's. Charlie? How are you doing? Any better than before? Is someone inside? Yes. Warming up already, isn't it? Birger. Hello. You came. Indeed. Seemed a perfect place to retire. Maybe write a book. It is your home, if you wish me to leave. No. It's good that he has someone. Will you stay? There is still much to be done. Then we will wait. And when it is time to rest, I will keep the hearth warm. Thank you, Birger. Fantastic. Although I kind of wish we could get the snow out of here. Just doesn't seem very comfortable for Charlie. But I'm very glad we got to see this. Finally, somebody taking care of Charlie. Poor good old Charlie. Good thing we came back for this. Thank you. See you again. We are back in the crucible of Muspelheim. Right? Oh. Lunda. Hi there. I wanted to ask, do you want me to stop talking about your muscles <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and how you look and stuff? Because it seems like it's making you all wiggly, like in a bad way. It did, but no longer. Oh, okay. So I, so I should stop? Sounds like I should stop. No. Oh, <laughs> all right, handsome. Your beefcake. Okay, thank you. That's a confidence booster. Thank you. Lunda? Okay, we're back in the Crucible, not because I want to do the trials. Still don't want to do that. But... Oh, I think we can see a glimpse of it already. Remember the notes? The Asgardian Remnant notes? They said that the Queen set up camp here and she'll be waiting for people to come join her. 
depending on how this goes, maybe you'll never see this footage. <laughs> maybe I'm just gonna stop and call it a day. But I figured we should at least give it a try. So if you're seeing this right now, that might be a good sign that we're okay. We'll end up okay. No one's here. Yet? Oh god. Traitor! Gana. She's fierce. Attack only if you think we are ready. We haven't thought of Valkyrie at all. Oh, we have. We have Freya and uh, the other two. But mostly we've been with... Oh! Okay. Are you coming? Mostly we've been fighting Berserkers. We should use up the rage in the beginning, quickly, so we can get some back. Oh! Oh! Oh, not this again! Her movesets, I'm completely unfamiliar with. We'll have to, like, see what she's doing again. Careful, brother! You're covered in black rock! I'm not learning her sets here. Oh! Submit. Shoot. God of no one. Oh, I didn't buy a stone again, did I? Hmm, but you know what? No stone and we got to almost half health. Maybe we can give this another try. Magic. What? Switching arrows. What was that? No idea what that attack was. Oh. Hmm. Been mostly just practicing so far. Uh, that might have been the furthest I made it. A little bit under half health. She's very fast. Very fast. Oh god! For Asgard means that we gotta avoid three times in a row. Oh, we have to dodge the right way. Hmm, okay. Oh. For Asgard, huh? Damn. We're getting further. Further. She's just very fast. We have to immediately know how to react. Like that four Asgard thing where she jumps up is really fast. Okay. Got kind of far this time. Hmm. Right after I switched my armor. 
No matter what you try, the results will be the same. Yeah, I switched it so that all of the hilts and the pommels and the zarotors I'm using create a realm shift as soon as I do a maelstrom, immolation, or permafrost. Seems like it's working out for me. Oh my god. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. <laughs> but I know I can do it. Now I know I can. Oh. Oh my goodness, I cannot fucking believe this shit. Ah! Let's settle this. Good. I'll see you pay for what you've done. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Yeah. Submit! Nasty hit! Great, brother! 
if you're not going to use it. entire realms in ruin sister i know the hate that burns you from within i have felt those flames known the comfort of their warmth i wronged you and i cannot change that never apologize enough for it but the hatred, vengeance. You have to let it go. Finish it. <sighs> yes, sister. We could have let her go. We could have, but she was too far gone. <laughs> like I actually have the luxury to pay attention to a cutscene after that fight. Good enough. Odin's final Valkyrie queen. At one time, she was Freya's handmaiden, friend, and trusted confidant. Mimir has called her a traitor, but it was clear she believed she was the one betrayed. Freya had spoken highly of her ambition, her conviction, and her unyielding loyalty. 
These would be admirable qualities in a warrior, yet, in the end, her loyalty proved misplaced in Odin, even after his defeat. She met her end with dignity, though Freya took no satisfaction in delivering it. Why? Well, I, I don't even understand how Odin inspired this level of loyalty, but we don't know. Like, we, what was going on in Asgard was their thing. What's this? Must she always play the victim? As if she has no hand in the shaping of her fate. In her eyes, her brother abandoned her because of his selfishness, not because she was domineering and controlling. She was exiled from her own realm because her husband was evil, not because she was caught conspiring behind his back. Her son was unjustly killed because of a vengeful foreigner, not because she drove her own son to madness. And when I kill her, Freya will tell whomever will listen to her in hell that it was because her former handmaiden betrayed her, and not because she deserved every single thing that's happened to her. I think the painful thing about this is that there is a little bit of truth behind all this criticism. Just look at Baldur. Yeah, he was unjustly killed because of a foreigner, but Freya being overprotective also definitely had a part in it, right? Well, this is something we don't ever need to show to Freya. She doesn't need to read it. It's fine. Okay. So surprisingly, that... Okay, this one took me the longest, but I... Yeah... When I defeated Sigrin, I remember thinking, good grief, finally we're done. But this one actually got a pop-off and I'll, you know, I felt good about it. You know what I had to do at the end? <laughs> I got a, hold on, round of obli obliteration. <gasps> Created through a painstaking process of tempering hundreds of Valkyrie, f oh, feathers, feathers. <laughs> I thought it said Valkyries just now. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? I completely forgot already. Mm, so the, the armor, I just kept what I had on after my little change from a little bit earlier. Onslaught shield, plus all the um, weapons had grips that gave them runic uh, realm shift, which helped out. But in the end, what I had to do was I had to put a box over the top of my screen so I couldn't see her health bar. Because I knew every time I saw that she was getting close, I was getting nervous and stuff. So I didn't actually know when she was going to die here until the R3 popped up, which was a nice little surprise. And yeah, that was, you know what, I hate to say it, but that was kind of fun. It was kind of fun. Again, this was hardest because we never fought any Valkyries in this whole... Mm, not many, not many Valkyries versus Berserkers where by the time of King Rolf, we had already seen the move said like a million times. Freya, I'm sorry it came to that. I gave her what she wanted. But thank you. So then, how does it feel being queen of the Valkyries once more? Queen? <laughs> Why? There are no Valkyries left. The Shield Maidens. Will you not lead them? Or rebuild? Maybe. It would be the first time in a while I have something truly mine. We'll see. Hmm. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, in terms of how annoyed I was, I still think the three berserkers were worse. King Hrolf and Gna. I enjoyed it somewhat. Gna is very fast. King Hrolf's telegraphing of his skills is much more obvious because Gana, it felt like if you play enough, if you practice enough, you'll recognize her moves, right? But there were some moves that she wasn't consistent about doing it one way or another. So after she does something, I would have to be like, oh, okay, is she going to do a spinny spin now? Or is she going to do an unblockable attack? Or what is she going to do? I don't know. And she had more variations too. We had to sometimes use sigil arrows. We had to sometimes use runic arrows. Sometimes for the same attack, one would be a block, one would be a dodge. Like you would have to do a dodge or uh, avoid. The Bifrost Chakram thing that she had, one of them was avoid, one of them was block. And if you do it the other way around, it just doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until I really looked into it, but um, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Ah, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but um, favors wise... <laughs> There's one favor left. Four challenges, four crucible challenges. So stupid. You know what? Well, it's an excuse. 
Oh, the Queen's Roar. Freya unleashes the true strength of her Valkyrie form by rising in the air and releasing a devastating shockwave with her wings. Okay, we'll have an excuse to try it out then. How about that? I don't know about the 15, but I want to do the 6 so that we can at least get it off our favors list. Can we do that? Can we do that? <laughs> we did the Valkyries already. Of course I can do this. Probably. Probably. <laughs> we can get the Nornir chest. That means absolutely nothing at this point. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? I don't even remember what the challenges were. I guess we'll find out. We could always warm up first. Nah. Ring out challenge. Opponents rapidly regain health. No time limit. Switching. Okay. They're regaining health. Like really rapidly. Ah, we gotta like knock them into the pits. Like that. Oh. <laughs> I see. Makes sense. Look, that guy just fell down into the pits. It's not about damaging them, it's about pushing them in. Oh, this one's easy. Poison, right flank. Wait, there's no pits here. There, oh. There you go. Thank you. As long as you're not giving me a time thing, I feel much better. Goodbye. Look, some nice realm shift too. Actually, it doesn't help here though, because we need to push people in, so they've got to be moving. Yeah, you've got to come over. This isn't even a challenge, is it? It's just mainly bullying people enough. Yeah, I guess it would help knowing which attack specifically does that. Not a big deal either way. See, for example, like that one's like not... Ow! That one attack doesn't even do it. Even though we did all that. Okay, that's an interesting one. Oh, there we go. Hi. I think this one we could have done easily. Yeah. I just... Didn't like the idea of challenges enough to not even have tried it before. <laughs> Ain't her yar. Push him! Oh, what the heck, that guy! Did you see that? That guy just went back this way. Just go in! Bye bye <laughs> This is just a chore. Really. This is a chore. Ow! You've got to come over near the ledges. Come near the ledges. Please. Only got one off there. Hey! Bye bye. No, yeah, see, the realm shift is useless here. Just go in. 
is there a specific attack that triggers it? I'm actually not 100% on that. One more to go. Buddy, you've got to you've got to go near a pit. Would you mind? Oh! Wait, that guy didn't get in the pit! How'd he die? Doesn't matter, I suppose. How do we... Oh. I think... Do we get the vine ashes here? Yeah, that's where we get it. That was... fun. That was alright. The vine ashes was like the one thing that I had been missing. Because without it, I couldn't upgrade much for the chaos blades. And that's where you're supposed to get it, I see. Any of these challengers catch your eye? Feed the rift, throw orbs into the realm, tear to close it before time runs out. Ah, time. Quick orbs? Interesting. Looks like you need to toss those soul orbs into the void. Protect yourself! So I really should be killing people ASAP. Oh no, I missed that one! Time to move! Didn't I kill another dude here? Oh my god. Uh... Oh, the orb's right here. Yes. You? Yes. Oh, there's multiple rounds. I was like, why did that one seem kind of easy? Where are they? I wonder if the Breath of Thamra would be a good Nicely one here, huh? Done. Tell me when to shoot. Now! Shoot now! At all times. Just activate Realm Shift for a little bit of extra time or something. Thanks, girl! Get out of here! Enemy behind you! I don't like the timer. Really don't like the timer. Why am I like this? No! <laughs> At least we got a full minute left. Oh. Oh, I thought I missed one. Thank you. Okay, four out of six. Hurry up. Give me the last two. Cool. The Nornir chest. Oh. This is done. Which challenge should we undertake? None of these two. Okay, great. So how do we move on to the third area? Now we gotta find it. It's probably right there.
Ooh. <laughs> doing it like this is so backwards. Because we really should have done the trials before doing Gana. It would have helped with Gana. Fancy a warm up before making your choice. Kill the elite while keeping the population under the limit. Okay. Keep enemies out of the rings until the time expires. King of the Hill. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I'll watch your back. What? Keeping the amount of enemies under the limit. Find you, watch out. Uh, somebody there? Enemy behind you, Kratos. Oh, when it's over the limit, then there's a timer. This probably takes a little bit too long. Got it working, though. Where are y'all? Hello! Uh huh. Go over there. So how do we know when this is over then? Is there like a definitive over? Oh, hello. Get the little ones first because they're easier to kill. Because this guy takes way more time, right? So we really shouldn't be focusing too much on him. Oh, there you go. Hey, that was the elite. Woohoo! We still haven't seen everything this area has to offer. There could be another arena. No, no, Freya, I already got Gana. Don't you worry. We could always warm up first. King of the Hill. Nah. Hope you're ready, brother. The ring. Keep them out of the ring. Hey! If they're in the ring, the timer goes down. Uh, someone's in the ring? Is someone in the ring? I don't want to go over there so much because someone might come up behind us. Oh no! The timer! That was one wave, alright. Where is the next ring? Next ring is here? Oh, there's two rings! Enemy behind you, Kratos! Oh dear. Behind you, brother. Oh, the the timer is what we're trying to that's how long we're trying to stand for. But well, what's happening is that the yellow bar is what we don't want filling up. Helps that everything is fully upgraded already. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. We're fine, we're fine. Behind you, look out! Yeah. 
This really should be cakewalk at this point, but we gotta be careful about the other ring. The other ring! Okay, we're good. <laughs> at least we held out. Kind of. Another wave? Where? How many more rings can we have? One, two. Two? Same as before? Oh, there's another one there. Are you kidding me? I never get to use a jumping attack anyway, so that was a nice try. But I can't jump back up? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Yo, this is insane! This ring is alright! But this ring isn't! Oh boy! Oh god! None of that! I think we'll be okay time-wise. But like, look, the other ring is completely occupied right now. Okay, I mean, we're fine, but... Woo. As long as we get them quickly... Enough. Okay! We did it! All the favors are gone. We've seen all the arenas and completed them. Maybe something's changed in the main chamber. Okay. <clears throat> the Nornir chest. But as we've seen in the map already, it seems like there was more extended challenges. The Nornir chest. Beautiful. Oh, Chaos Flame. The steel's reacting to us. That sword, it wasn't there before. Well, that sword can stay unexplored, because I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> My main mission was to get the Chaos Flame, really. Those blades may not be from around here, but I'll be damned if I can't sharpen them up for you. Oh. Thanks for collecting that. Well, I might as well get the upgrade while we're here. Wow, never worked on blades like these before. Yeah, now we got level 9 for everything. Mm, but it looks like if you want to further upgrade the pommels, you might have to complete the next set of challenges, which... If you don't love I'm it, fine. Just bring it back. Yeah, because if you look in the map here, it says Crucible Challenges 15. No, no, I, I'm good, thanks. I think now we should go to Svartalfheim for real. Do you wanna wear... What should we wear? The Fate Breaker? Honoring Brock, because we broke fate. Yes, and we did it for him. And we couldn't have done it without him, too. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Uh, paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. Sindri's not here? Bit of a smaller crowd than I was expecting. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. 
We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. Is it this way? I guess it's actually... It is all the way over there. Okay. See you there then. I was expecting a bit of a bigger turnout, but I think it makes sense. Brock, not the kind of guy that's... I mean, he has many friends who love him dearly, but he's not the crowd pleaser kind of guy. But I'm hoping we will see Sindri later on. I think he should be here. Atreus as well, really. Over here. Got this new mystic gate from the realm seeds. We're here. Would be nice to have this gate earlier, huh? Another place that we've been back to before. It took me so much effort to walk back into the apple core last time to try to find that berserker, my goodness. Damn it. What is wrong? I should have... changed. Sewn some mourning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Still, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewellery around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. <laughs> no, I think we're appropriately dressed. You and I, and Brock, we're all fate breakers. Are you guys at the little holy system? There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
Sindri. Black was... What is there to say? A hole. What? Gets bigger the more you take away. Very heartbreaking. A bit of a downer to end on, huh? We defeated Odin. We overcame Ragnarok, but at the end here, to see that Sindri is like this, it's difficult. Hmm. I was thinking Atreus should be here, but. Yeah, if Sindri was gonna come, I think that might have been a problem, so maybe that's why, that's part of why he wasn't here, too. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. What they're doing with Sindri here kind of reminds me of how back in 2018, by the end of it, we knew that Freya was gonna become an enemy later on. I don't think Sindri is necessarily gonna become an enemy. I don't even know if they're gonna do more games after this. My understanding is that Kratos' story is the duology, but maybe we're gonna follow Atreus later or something else in the universe, I don't know. But it definitely does feel like they're setting something up here. And it's... Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to see one of our friends just shut himself away. I feel like if you think about what Brock like, how would Brock respond to this? I feel like Brock was upset about the lack of a choice in that whole matter. But Sindri... Does he care that Brock was upset about it? To him, Brock being alive was more important than anything else. After Brock is gone, everything that we knew about him, the cleanliness and all that, he gave it all up, because it doesn't matter anymore. Again, reminds me a bit of how Freya might logically understand that we saved her back when we killed Baldur, but at the same time we killed her son, and then that's just something that she couldn't accept. It's... It's difficult. Loss. Loss does things to a man. Well, there you have it. God of War Ragnarok. Hmm. I don't think you'll be able to find any other games, or many other games on the market, that have production values that rival this game. Clearly, a massive monumental piece of work in a lot of different angles. Uh, just the, the pure graphic fidelity, the cutscenes, the set pieces, and the acting. I think the acting, the mocap is a huge part of why it's so immersive and all that, and yeah, in all the technical aspects, it's clear to see that they knocked it out of the park, and it was enjoyable to play. I feel like I said this about 2018 as well, but the combat system I think is really nice. There's a lot of variety to it, and the, the movesets, all the different weapons, all the different moves are surprisingly deep. I don't feel like I really understood it. Well, maybe at the very end here, after beating Gana, I feel like I understand it a tad more than before. But it's really the kind of thing where you don't really... If you don't want to invest into it, you don't have to, but if you do, then you get really cool looking things happening and just sick combos all around. So that's nice. 
So yeah, as an overall product, I, I don't have any problems with the game and I think it's really enjoyable. That's why I went and did all that stuff, right? Because I, I enjoyed it and I did all the optional boss fights and whatnot. But if I do have to nitpick a bit, it's not like this game is completely perfect in every way, I don't think. Enemy variation overall is still kind of low, like Draugr's in her yard, we see these all the time. And for the lore scrolls that we find, I kind of don't get the impression they actually want me to read it. To be honest, a lot of them were kind of throwaway too, like I'll read something and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, the whole system of how they don't mark what I haven't read before, and how... At the end of a battle, okay, you finish the battle, and then the pop-up says, you got a new entry, but your dialogue, your companions are talking at the same time, and then by the time you let them finish talking, the pop-up has finished, and then you open the menu to try to find the entry yourself, but you can't find it because they don't mark what's new, so that whole loop is very frustrating for people who actually want to read the stuff, so... I don't know, it's such a simple thing that I feel like it must have come up before, that I'm not the first person in the world who's noticed this. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. I feel like it's part of the efforts in streamlining the game to the most mainstream of gamers, because most people, the average gamer, probably doesn't want to read stuff. And so they just, they have a lot of dialogue about the people talking about the stuff, but they don't expect people to read it. And so I guess on the reading front, they just didn't really put that much effort into it. Another thing that I feel like, um... I'm not sure if I want to call this a problem, but something that I've noticed with this game and Horizon Forbidden West, which I don't think it's a coincidence that both of these are first-party Sony games, it feels like they've come to a formula with how certain aspects of popular best-selling games should be done. Really noticeable when you look at stuff like the puzzle hints, which everybody that I've seen online have been complaining about, but they still do it because Probably people who complain are the vocal minority. And the actual reality is that a lot of people, maybe especially more casual gamers who don't go on discussion forums about their favorite game or whatever, they enjoy it. They don't want to get stuck on a game. And both these sequels, both Horizon and God of War, I feel like they lean towards the safe side in terms of like creativity and innovation. Like, I'm not saying this is not a well-made game. Of course not. This is a very well-polished game, aside from the little technical bugs and whatever. I mean that this takes 2018 as a base, and they improve little things about it, but I haven't really seen anything. one thing that's like a, a big dramatic change, which I would like to see. And this is gonna be the kind of thing where opinions vary, because a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I mean, I'm just looking for a polished, fun game. I don't care about innovation or whatever, so... Yeah, that's, that's totally okay. But I think from my perspective, which might be closer to like a game critic's perspective, because if you read a lot of reviews, sometimes you'll notice that game critics have different opinions compared to the, the quote-unquote average gamer, because critics go through a lot of games every single year. And similarly, me as a Let's Player, I go through a whole bunch of games on this channel every day, all year round. And so when you're in that kind of position, I feel like you inherently start to value uniqueness, innovation, new. You start valuing it, seeing something new a lot more. And that's the thing that I feel like is a little bit lacking here because it's very polished, very good looking, very well acted, everything is great. But a lot of things are incremental improvements and not a dramatic, dramatic change. Story-wise, don't get me wrong though, there were a lot of like really, really great character moments. A lot of really great ones. My favorites include mm, Freya and Kratos killing Neithog and then having that conversation where she temporarily forgives him for killing her son, or Kratos and Atreus going from not really trusting each other, being very frustrated about that, and then getting to the point where they were so tight that nobody could pull them apart. All the character growth, not even just from the protagonists too, but from um, the easier side. Thor's whole family, all that. Super duper enjoyable. But I'm just choosing to highlight some of the other opinions about this because I feel like you'll probably hear 10 out of 10, great game, no complaints, everywhere. And I, I could tell you the same thing, maybe that's what you want to hear, but... I think there are other angles that we can discuss God of War Ragnarok from. That's all. I still love this game lots, it's a great experience, and... Whatever else they do in the God of War world, I'll absolutely be back, no doubt about it. Oh. 
I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whever you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. No doubt. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. <laughs> he wouldn't have it any other way. Forgive Sindri, he's just, uh, I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I just hope that someday he'll... He'll come back around. Hmm. Well, that's all I got. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me with this Let's Play of God of War Ragnarok. This was Wellens. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!